As the name suggests, non-tuberculous mycobacteria lung disease, or NTM lung disease, is a disease caused by non-tuberculous mycobacteria. This disease is often referred to as pulmonary MAC. MAC stands for Mycobacteria avium complex. Non-tuberculous mycobacteria are bacteria that are in our soil. And these bacteria can enter our water supply. We're exposed to it by way of the shower head when we experience that hot water mist that we breathe in while we take a shower. The mycobacteria has been found in sink faucets and we can therefore drink it. And in some cases, people can have the contents that are in their stomach enter their lungs. People are at more risk of getting NTM lung disease if they have conditions that decrease their immunity or their immune system. Examples of that are HIV or cancer. But patients who have chronic lung diseases, diseases such as emphysema, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also called COPD, or bronchiectasis, are also at higher risk of developing an infection with non-tuberculous mycobacteria. Bronchiectasis is an abnormality of the airways inside the lungs. The airways are abnormally wide, and when airways are abnormally wide like this, they don't function correctly, and a patient may have more sputum production, more cough, they may feel more short of breath, and they may develop infections, respiratory infections, more often than a normal person without bronchiectasis. NTM lung disease is more common as an individual ages. The prevalence of NTM lung disease is about 112 per 100,000 persons. The prevalence of NTM lung disease is affected by where a person lives. The coastal regions tend to show higher prevalence. The prevalence is also affected by a person's ethnicity and gender. There are a few common symptoms that are associated with pulmonary MAC disease. These common symptoms are cough and fatigue. Pulmonary MAC can be associated with coughing up blood, and the amount of blood can range. The amount of blood can be just a speck of blood, or it can be much more. And of course, much more blood is an potentially an emergency, and a patient should go to the emergency room if that occurs. The fatigue associated with pulmonary MAC can be very severe. It can be the type of fatigue that people feel like they want to take a nap in the middle of the day or even late morning. Weight loss is a common symptom of pulmonary MAC disease, and we find that these patients can have trouble keeping weight on. It's true that other diseases such as bronchiectasis and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD can have similar symptoms, but with the addition of pulmonary MAC infection, these patients may experience a worsening of their baseline symptom. The symptoms of pulmonary MAC can progress very slowly, and a patient may suspect that this is just worsening of their underlying lung condition. But in reality, it may actually be the symptoms of pulmonary MAC. And so it's important that the physician knows about these progressive symptoms so that appropriate workup can take place. A doctor should be looking at a sputum culture on a fairly regular basis and testing that sputum for AFB, which stands for acid fast bacilli.